Okay. Don't know if it's actually making any noises or any sounds or whatever we're doing here. All right, all right, all right. Hello and welcome back to Skeptical Eye. News from beyond. Yes, it's happening again. We're doing it one more time. Today we're going to be talking about the happenings of uh, something that happened actually in July, even though it's August. So get ready for that. It's all about a prominent YouTuber using clickbait in the paranormal sphere. Shame for shame. Uh, We're going to talk about that a little bit. And we asked, you delivered, we got a one-star review, exactly what I wanted. So thank you very much. We'll be reading that in the uh, beginning of the show here. So look forward to some constructive criticism. And things are still getting wacky out there. We've got plenty of other topics going into this next month, and it's going to be wild. We've had Jeremy Corbell on the JRE. We've had Tom DeLong on Steve-O's Wild Ride, always talking about aliens and the wackiest shit you can imagine. There is no shortage of spooky news. So now prepare yourself for News from Beyond. All right, so we're going to start off the show, actually. We we asked in the last episode of News from Beyond if you guys would, you know, just go and review that uh, the show and go check it out on iTunes, Apple. I don't know if this individual heard this from that show or just happened to happen upon the podcast and wanted to give it a, a one star review. But either way, we are happy to oblige. We're happy to be there for it. So let's just read this puppy out loud, you know, because I think I think it gives us gives us good insight, gives us a lot of things to learn and work on and just fills my heart that you guys would listen to me. It is, uh, it is titled needs more production value. Truth needs more production value. Uh, all right. This is from M dub 1978. So M dub, if you're out there, thank you for this, this gem of a, of a review we got. So one star, I like the topics, but it's really hard to listen to a bunch of chuckleheads coughing to the microphone. We all know who that is, huh? Uh, listening to a bunch of chuckleheads coughing into the microphone, talking over each other. Yes, we do that. That is the thing. You get more than two people on a podcast and it just becomes a fucking shit show. Uh, getting excited about their own jokes, etc. cetera. <laughs> oh, fuck. If it's just for you and your mates, you don't need to record it. Just talk to them. Well, MW 1978, I can't agree with you more, but it's just for more than my mates. It's for the world. So thank you for that review. We will take a lot of that into consideration and some of it not into consideration, but that doesn't matter because this is a new day with new topics and less chuckleheads coughing into the microphone. So I'll keep that to a minimum this time. But now on to our actual topic, which would be the infamous YouTuber Coyote Peterson is in the news or was in the news. I'm a little late on this uptake of the story, but the guy ended up finding or alleging that he had found a Bigfoot skull or a primate skull. Let me let me put it this way. He eloquently labeled it as primate skull found in the Pacific Northwest. So now let's get into Coyote Peterson and the skull that wasn't. So I'm kind of going off the videos and the uh, few articles that I did read about the subject, but it looks like uh, about a month ago. So it was brought to the public's knowledge by Peterson that he and his crew had come across a primate skull in Canada. Now, from the posts and the videos that they had put out, they had kind of suggested that they had been holding on to this discovery for weeks, you know, kind of playing it off as real, like they had actually been like, wondering what to do. They found this crazy discovery with one of the places that uh, Bigfoot is very well known for uh, being in. Actually, that's like basically his home, Northern California, up the coast, along Oregon and the Cascades, you know, Washington, British Columbia, Canada, that whole, that whole nine yards. Of course, these posts and videos were pretty much implying that it could be a Sasquatch. And that was met with as much shock and excitement as skepticism as you can believe. Basically, I think that he was posting on social media things about this skull. I think it might have been like pictures and uh, they ended up doing a two part video thing about, uh, you know, Bigfoot on their channel. And uh, the reason that it got brought to my attention, actually, was a buddy of mine sent me the clip. Jesse from Skeptical Eye sent it over. Bless his soul. And of course, when you see that headline, you know, you got to you got to click on it. It's a little bit of clickbait, which uh, the community at large was not very fond of now i personally know coyote peterson is the bites me guy or stung or whatever you know what it is one two three Ah! 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 oh 
you see that? And that's the type of cathartic content that that guy's known for. So the initial video dated about a month back uh, from Coyote Peterson's YouTube channel tells basically a bulk of the story of kind of what they were trying to accomplish in their little in their little scenario. So of course, you know, the, the video starts out where they, you know, do that big reveal. It's like, oh, we found something out here. You know, it literally like if you were to take this and throw it over like a history channel or with an A and E super over it, you would not be able to tell the difference. You'd just be like, oh, I guess that's a the new show out on Travel Channel, Bigfoot in Canada or whatever. I found a skull. I think you guys are gonna want to come film this. You see that like eye cavity sticking up? That looks human. No, it's probably a bear. Holy mackerel! Look at that. That's not a bear skull. That is the skull of a primate in the Pacific Northwest, buried under mud. It basically gives the big reveal. Oh, they pull out the skull from the water, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, oh, what is this thing? Now, when I first saw this, of course, I had only seen it on a, a little thumbnail preview clip. And I was like, hot skippy. Damn, that's that's pretty impressive. I thought they actually found one, you know, like they had actually come across one. And maybe it was maybe it was a trick or something or Maybe it was, I don't know what it was. I'll be honest. But at the same time, I was also looking at it. And if you notice, it's a little bit more elongated in the face. This was kind of my first clue that it wasn't going to actually be, I mean, obviously it probably wouldn't be a freaking Bigfoot skull. Otherwise things would be a lot more intense, wouldn't they? And I was thinking it was going to be along the lines of something like a gorilla skull or a big primate that we do have, or like a replica Gigantopithecus something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So during the video, you know, they go through, they, we got the skull, blah, blah, blah. Then it turns into this kind of, you know, more like, more like his usual kind of content, more kid friendly kind of, Ooh, what are we doing out here? You know, on October 20th, 1967, two men, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin captured footage of an unknown bipedal primate. Banana has his little ad libs, his little his little segments to make it entertaining, you know? One thing I must admit that they have really good production value. This is a really good video as far as visuals. Like they have, you know, amazing drone shots. They've got really nice scenery to work with. They're just like crawling through this beautiful undergrowth of woods, kind of like the ones behind me here. Uh, it's just a really nice piece of visual, uh, visual content. Uh, despite the fact that it's going down the road of being clickbaity as hell, you know, what are we going to do? We all got to make that money. Of course, then they move on to the fact where they start asking the crew and the cast and everybody who's there to uh, kind of describe, you know, how do you, what do you think of Bigfoot? You know, everybody kind of gives their general answers. Some are super skeptical saying like, where's the scientific evidence? It's 2022. We don't need scientific evidence. Please. Just kidding. And then you have a uh, uh, people who are pretty much right in the middle. Surprisingly, they didn't have anybody who really believes. I think that would have added to it, but. Who am I to say? So they continue the video. It's kind of it's kind of a fun feely. You know, we're we're out there just trying to take videos, see how it looks out there. You know, like Coyote was walking around like a Bigfoot, kind of being a goofball, a little cringeworthy. What am I gonna? I mean, what can I say? I'm cringeworthy. So they're doing little little miniature miniature feet and some sticks. That was pretty uh good perspective filming right there i guess i'm not really going after the quality i think that what we're really going to be talking about mostly is the fact that people were not happy about the clickbait for those who are gullible they most certainly were the ones who were spreading it around being like oh my god look at this what is this two-thirds of the way through they do this what if scenario right before they get the skull and of course that was the 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 kicker if you don't know now you know so I hope everybody, for the most part, picked up on that so that you knew that it wasn't real, even though a couple of weeks back, he was basically just trying to convince everybody that it was, or I don't know what, I don't know what the play was there. Obviously, it was to drum up interest. Sometimes I honestly think that there's too much of that. Like, it's hard enough to get, like, credible scientists involved in this type of thing when you keep crying wolf all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's always been one of my biggest peeves. It's like why people lie. Like, there's not a lot of, well... In this case, there's a little bit to gain from it, you know, YouTube money, YouTube views and things like that. And that's where a lot of people always turn to when they're saying like, oh, this guy's talking about Bigfoot. Well, all he wants to do is get famous. All he wants to do is like, no, half the time it doesn't seem like they get any money. It seems like it turns people against them in ways. And it just seems like doing this kind of clickbait thing isn't going to help the actual community at large. The people who are actually out there who want Bigfoot to be discovered and like taken by 
science to be real. And there's a lot of steps that are going to be have to be taken in order to actually prove that Bigfoot is real. Even if you get decent photo evidence and things like that, it's probably going to take a lot more for mainstream science to be like, yep, that's right. Put it in the books. Don't don't completely discount that. You don't want a bunch of fake science going in there. You don't want a bunch of people trying to claim the the first authentically, you know, claimed Bigfoot body sighting hair sample whatever it might be don't really know where i was going with that uh, the the bottom line is that it's going to be harder for people to take things seriously especially like actual scientists for all i know coyote peterson might be the one of the guys who comes out there and actually finds it because he's always in the actual woods searching for animals he's found a lot of crazy things out there in the brave wilderness and i just know him as the get bits by stuff guy so maybe on that front to stay to your lane and I guess, you know, just to wrap it up, the, the downside is that it leaves a lot more gullible people into falling for it and sharing it and taking it as hard fact before the dust finally settles and we kind of get the, the full story. And it's harder for scientists to kind of weed through the credible claim. So we go to live science right now. I'm going to read a little article called Scientists Dismiss Coyote Peterson's Large Primate Skull Discovery as a Fake. A large primate skull was allegedly found in British Columbia by American YouTuber Coyote Peterson, according to a social media post he shared on July 7th. Uh, in those posts, Peterson wrote that he had hid the discovery for several weeks from government officials and any others who might try to cease our or seize my goodness seize our footage. Experts told Live Science that Peterson's claim is highly suspect, and secretly extracting and transporting animal remains across national borders may be illegal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure actually that you can't even go across the border with like an elk body or something if you went hunting without like the proper paperwork and things like that, let alone a primate skull you dug out of the fucking side of a cliff. That may have been more interesting if he had tried to traffic like primate remains across country lines, but uh, on to what the actual scientists say. So Jonathan Colby, a science consultant and National Geographic explorer with expertise in wildlife trade, wrote, smuggling any primate specimens into the United States, even if found in the wild, is illegal. Yanan Wang, a graduate student in the Geospatial Intelligence Program at Johns Hopkins University, geologist and author of The 50 State Fossils, a guidebook for aspiring paleontologists, noted that Coyote Peterson's skull closely resembled a cast of a gorilla skull that was uh, available for purchase on AliExpress. So yeah, in the second video, it does turn out that they have some fake gorilla skull that they used in the in the video pretended like you know pretended it was bigfoot they always say that bigfoot looks ape-like but they don't suggest that he's actually an ape or anything it's more the fact that it's kind of like this cross between human and ape-like qualities i saw that like more elongated face feature of the skull and then that really define sagittal crest because it looked too much like an actual ape than it did what i would expect a sasquatch skull to look like which i would think would have more human features maybe be a little bit more flat you know because that's one of those things like what is bigfoot is it a primate is it something more closely related to us humans you know is it some offshoot of the hominid hominid branch we don't know of course so yeah that's what the scientist people think about it but yeah overall you know those are just my thoughts it's something that kind of got the community riled up for a little bit but you know, what are you going to do? And that's the tale of Coyote Peterson and the skull that wasn't. Thank you guys for joining us here today. Go leave another one star review or two stars. Let's go for two stars. I want to see a two star review on there. Don't write a review unless you have two stars in mind. Just kidding. You can do whatever you want. I can't tell you what to do. So go there, review the show, Apple iTunes, Skeptical Eye for the Paranormal Guys. This was another episode of News from Beyond, and I hope you enjoyed it because I sure enjoy doing these. This is a lot of fun, just kind of going through the news and, and checking out what's going on in the world of the paranormal. There's a lot more stuff out there. Man, well, you know what? You know what? Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for checking out the show. Go give it a like, give it a subscribe, do whatever you got to do. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be back here with some more news from the beyond.